Hello, I'm out at my father's place in the country town of Clunes with the cats at the moment. My dad had major surgery just before Easter and he's recovering well but it has been a slow recovery. I'll probably be out here a few more weeks to take him to some follow-up appointments and things like that. I have minimal filming gear with me as well so it's a bit of a struggle making videos but I'll do my best and apologies if my audio is not that great. My microphone is refusing to hook up with the laptop, so I'm having to use the laptop microphone. Joy! Nick has been here as well, but he's gone back to Melbourne this week. And here's my dad, doing very well after eight days in hospital. So just before I show you my makeshift studio, I thought I'd have a quick wander around Clues and you can see what it's like. It's Victoria's first gold town. It's been a gold mining town since the 1800s and not much has changed really. There are still loads of old buildings and a few more modern ones like the little supermarket here on the corner. And yes, gold is still found out around this area. Clunes is also quite a popular filming location and a number of movies and TV series have been made out here. This is the main street that I'm looking down now. The most iconic movie is the first Mad Max, which came out in the late 70s with a very young Mel Gibson. I found a movie still online just to show you what it looked like. And here's what it looks like today, 40 odd years later. Pretty much the same really. It's a cute little country town with some quaint buildings. So now I'm going to show you my makeshift art studio while I'm out here. I'm trying to do some filming although it's not easy but I'll do my best and hopefully I'll get something done while I'm out here. So let's check out my studio shall we? It's basically in my bedroom and I've set up everything against one wall. When Nick is here too it's a bit of a squish but we're just going to have to make do for now. My suitcase is over on the side of the bed because there's just really nowhere else to put it at the moment. Moving around, that window is absolutely destroying the light in here, but I'll get away from that. You can see Gandalf is asleep there too. I've set up this makeshift little table next to a set of drawers and my tiny red desk. I unpacked everything out of my bags onto the desks because I was sick of living out of the bags. And it's a bit of a mess, but at least I can film over here. Gandalf got on the towels before I could put them away, so I guess I'm going to have to wash them. But he looked so comfy, I didn't have the heart to move him. Let's take a closer look at the art supplies I brought with me. I've got this zipper case with chameleon pens. I had completely forgotten I'd packed those, so it was a surprise when they came out of the bag. <laughs> I've also got some other dual tip marker pens, because I've been using them a lot lately. And some Faber Castell markers. These are water-based ones, but they're really great. I might have to do a video on those at some point. Then I have all of my brushes. I've got this little travel brush set here with three little watercolor brushes inside. That's always a handy one to pack. I have a pencil case full of golden open acrylic tubes, which I had packed from the last time I came out here about a month ago. And I've got some other brushes in these cute little zipper cases. These ones are gouache brushes and this is by Montmartre so it comes with the brushes included. And I just got these ones which are acrylic brushes. I mean you could use them for anything really but they are labelled as acrylic brushes so there we go. Those cases are so handy for travelling. And I've got another case down here. These are all of my nice watercolour brushes that I've accumulated over the years. I have this shiny gold watercolour set that I recently reviewed in a video. I really like these so I thought these would be nice to have out here with me. And I've got a few other little watercolour sets here. A couple of smaller tins. These ones have art spectrum paints in them. And I'm trying to open this one handed while I hold the camera so that's really awkward quality filming today I tell you. <laughs> Let's get it open. So I've got loads of colours in here. I haven't used this palette for a while so I thought I might try and use it while I'm out here. And then I've got this other one which is full of Holbein paints in little half pans if I can get it open. I wanted to choose a couple of different colour palettes and these two tins have all sorts of random colours in them. And then over to the right I've got this much larger tin with Schmika Horodem watercolour paints in it. I think there's 52 of them in here. I've filled it right up. So I'll just pull out the swatch sheet and you can see them all beautifully arranged in colour order. I have far more watercolours than I'm probably going to use but I like to have choices when I'm out here. I also brought some coloured pencils out with me. This is a motley collection of Prismacolor pencils. 
and I also have a much larger collection of them in this black zipper case underneath but I'm trying to use up the ones in that roll case first. Let's see if I can open this one handed. I got the 150 set of Prismacolors years ago and decided they would just be easier to move around in one of these zipper cases, just putting all the pencils in those elastic bands. It's so much more convenient than the big box. Underneath I've got a file with all sorts of colouring pages because the colouring group that I go to on a regular basis is going to have a display in winter time, so I've been doing a few winter themed pictures and an Easter one there, and I'll decide later which ones I want to display. I've gotten a few of them done while I'm out here. There is another one which I just cannot find at the moment. I know it's in the house somewhere. I've also got the colouring book that I've been working in. This one is so cute. It's called Adorable Town and I'll actually be showing more of this book in my next video which will be coming out at the weekend so stick around for that one. That's the last one I got filmed at home before I came out here and while I was visiting dad in hospital I stopped off at a news agency and did some retail therapy. I bought this magazine showing different different artists and their sketchbooks. I thought this would just be really great for some inspiration and I just love looking at other people's work. I also found a couple of colouring magazines by Colouring Heaven, their annual for 2024 which I think features images from previous magazines in 2023. I really like these magazines because they're single-sided and I can use marker pens in them. And the other one that I saw there was one called Mysterious Women and I quite like colouring in pictures of people because it's a really great way to practice skin tones and facial features as well. These magazines come from the UK so they're pretty expensive and it also takes ages for them to get here. This is the latest Daphne's Diary which I think is at least one or two magazines behind the UK but I love these magazines. They're so beautiful. There's so much stuff in here which I tend to cut out for my paper crafting projects. And I like reading the fun little articles. It's a very relaxing magazine. I'll stack all those back up over there and I'll go over to the papers that I have brought. Just a random collection of things from my studio really. It's amazing how much stuff I managed to pack into a couple of backpacks. But here we go, some of the paper I brought. A watercolour pad by Graby and it's still got a painting in there from ages ago. I really need to actually use this paper a bit more. And then I've also got this paint on mixed media paper which was a free sample when I filmed an art shop recently. I also have a larger pad of watercolour paper, Cancel Moulin du Roy, my favourite paper. I have a few more sheets left in this particular pad. And you never know, I might actually do some painting while I'm out here. <laughs> and I've also got my large A4 sketchbook. This is the Hannah Mueller one and I have been working in that periodically. Underneath I've also got this oil and acrylic pad because I did bring out some acrylic paints with me. I've only used one sheet so far so there's heaps in there. I have this little leatherette notebook case by Sennelier that Nick bought me recently. It's got a little watercolour sketchbook in it and a few pens. Here is my Cryjoofy painting unit. It's got my acrylic paints in there and I've also got room to put some more gouache. The gouache box is still in the bag somewhere I think. Next to it I have my trusty pencil sharpener. This is the Dull 133 and it's my favourite pencil sharpener ever. I've got a little water pot, some tissues and just a few other little boxes of pens. These are shiny paint markers and then I've got some glitter pens here. It's pretty much items that I'm trying to use up a little bit and I've also got some spare notebooks for that Sennelier case. Next to that is a little pencil case that I've emptied out and I'm going to put something in that in a while. I'll show you that in a moment. On our many visits to Dad in the hospital we stopped at Kmart and I bought these graphic markers in a set of 36 because some of my other alcohol markers are running out. They also had a set of 36 acrylic paint markers. They were very cheap but they look nice so I'm curious to try these out. I thought I could film a little video on these at some point. I have my tiny Bluetooth speaker for when I'm playing my Spotify on the phone and I also have this IKEA phone holder which is really great for when I'm looking at reference pictures on my phone for doing artworks. This little red desk is where I do my actual filming and artworks on. I've got my Etcher field case with a whole bunch of random pens and pencils in there. It's such a mess, I've been using that quite a lot. And I really need to resort it. I also found this complete marker set in a little stationery shop out here and I might do a video on that 
I really want to pull them out of this plastic box and put them all in this pencil case because that will be so much more convenient. I bought it because I wanted some more fine liners. I managed to leave them all at home very cleverly. I've got my little A5 sketchbook. And last up is the 365 days of drawing. I'm slowly working my way through that. And then I have a little filming light and a holder for my phone so I can film on that. It's the most basic setup I can have. <laughs> In the drawers are a few bits that I keep out at Dad's, just so I don't have to bring all those things out as well. A plastic palette, which does come in handy. I've got a couple of empty drawers, so I thought I'd put some of the stuff from my desk in here to declutter it a little bit. And I'll just show you that now. I put all of my watercolor supplies and the brushes in this drawer. And underneath, I've got some of the smaller books and papers there, just to eliminate some of the clutter. But it's still pretty much strewn with art supplies if I pan out here. Ah well, it's the best I can do, and it's nice to have some of my stuff with me. But a few days later, it's a bigger mess now because I've got my laptop out and all my cables. Ah dear, oh dear. It's going to be really fun keeping this lot neat. I've got bags everywhere, and over on this side, the cats have taken over the bed and my laundry. But at least when they're there, they're not walking over my stuff. So I'll just let sleeping cats lie, and I'll deal with that mess later. Trixie, of course, is underneath the duvet because she can't possibly sleep on top of it. There she is. <laughs> anyway, that's all I have for today. I really hope I can do some more filming while I'm out here in my little makeshift studio. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. And you might want to click the subscribe button. Up here is an older video of my dad's art supplies. And here's another video over here. Have a great day and I'll see you all again in my next video. Swatch you later. Bye!